<laughs> keto diet on the internet now. <laughs> hey, it works. It's See, right. it works. <laughs> Look at this physique. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Well, not much too keto works. <laughs> So far, M&M's and rock stars work great for me. I'm Chad Anderson. This is Marty Anderson, my dad. This is Catalyst Customs. I started out in his garage um, about 20 years ago one year in a one-car garage, and I worked my way all the way up to this 1,600-square-foot shop. Still small, but I'm working my way up. Um, I've been building cars with my dad since I was little. Um, everything from choppers to hot rods to customs. Um, learned a lot from him. His specialty has always been the mechanical end of it, and I never took to that part. I didn't like to get too greasy, so I like the body and paint and fabrication and everything but the mechanical part. But <laughs> works out pretty good to get that way. I just have a variety of projects. The Mustang right here, we're just finishing up. Um, it's supposed to leave Tuesday. It's got a little bit of work to do on it. On it. It's a '71 uh, Box 351. We did a is a rotisserie build. I did a whole bunch of uh, rust repair on it. Everything on it's brand new, new motor, transmission, everything, interior. Um, it's almost done. The green truck's back in. This is my C10. I built it for SEMA. <laughs> that um, color there looks good on that style of truck. At the last minute. That there is not a good color for that type of car. I'm sorry. I know it's a stock color, but... You, you always I, see a black one or a red I one or a white one or a silver one. Well, I had a Boss 302 Grabber Blue. You did? And, and But, like, every time you pull up, like, a... Stock picture one, it's always blue, black, or white, or That's how it's many cool. of the green? I know, but the green one's so much more rare. I think it'll bring more money just because it's more rare. You know, like well, it's it's rare, all right. People are gonna say, is that a stock color? I've never seen one. It's before. grown on me. I never liked this green. Well, you know, when I green, got, it wasn't my fan. I, I became a big fan of it. Um, I'm really. It's just the color a truck needs to be. You know, or a vehicle. Well, that's blue. the customer's choice. He decided to go blue. I don't like blue a whole lot. Yeah, I know. This one is getting paid by the customer, so it's not really my choice on what we get to go with. But Pays there, I do agree. I did uh, I did get to make up the color myself, at least, so it's a one-off blue. But again, we went with a new style motor instead of an old style. I think the, the new style just scares you because it's a little bit harder to work on. Or not so much harder, but more unfamiliar to you. So okay. I don't, once you get to the points in the carburetor, you're dead. How do you set points? <laughs> That's not my style. I don't. I don't. Uh, That's the one thing. At least I've, I've you know, been around enough. I know how to do that stuff. I'm still working on the new stuff. So our twenties were big to you. I remember when. I remember with your Firebird when uh, I went right. with you to go okay. get. No, no, no. We went to go get wheels, and and actually back then they were huge, right? You're like you're like, yeah, we got some big wheels. We're upgraded. We went to sixteen inch wheels on this thing. <laughs> Man, I thought it was pretty cool. And I get back home and start reading my magazines. I'm like sixteen. That's what come on stock nowadays yeah. you know and then i was putting 17s on my cars back then when they were new and then you thought that was crazy and you asked me are they gonna fit and i said yeah they yeah. did they did fit and now we're putting 24s and that's all the way up that's drive height this guy yeah. wanted 26s and then 28s in the rear and i did this one mostly because everybody told me like there's no way they'll fit this customer yeah. bought the wheels and tires before they bought the blazer and then he bought a blazer. He's like, can we make them fit? And I said, I think so. So I called some buddies for advice. And they're like, yeah, there's no way. They're not going to work. So um, I was probably one of those. And you were. And <laughs> they fit. They fit. And it's, all the, it's up right now. Like, it'll go all the way down. It fits now. So that's a 20, uh, 28 by 10 in the rear. Um, I made the whole frame. So it goes all the way up to here inside the window. I had to tub it out and stuff. But um, still nobody has seen this except for, you know, us and like maybe a handful of people and now YouTube so <laughs> um, but the customer has been wanting to keep everything under wraps so like I can't post pictures of it anywhere else um, so don't share I'm learning I'm, I'm, I'm I like to consider myself a realist and when you said you can put 28 whatever on there so there's no way if I don't work you do make a believer out of me so you can do it I just couldn't imagine that <laughs> Come in. <laughs> That's our customer now. <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> wait, wait till you get another 20, 30 years on you. Then, you think. then I get the knee surgery and then I get the forgetfulness. Yep. And then I won't listen to my son either when he's got great advice. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I must admit that uh, there's been times I doubted what you said. My dad never, uh, he, he saw the No Fear shirts that said, 
he who dies with the most toys wins. And even though I tell him all the time, I go, you got to get rid of some of these projects. You never get to them. I think he's added more projects than got rid of. Yeah. How many times, though, you're, excuse me, being a collector, not just vehicles, but uh, all sorts of stuff. And you're always telling me, clean up, clean up, clean up. I still tell the story about, uh, you kid me about these fluorescent lights I brought down from Iowa and I moved here 20 years it's ago. And one of them's hung up, and the other one I stuck above. <laughs> but got, got them stuck out on the canopy for 20 years. You're always saying, throw those things away, throw those things away. Pretty soon, hey, Dad, you still got the fluorescent lights? Yeah. <laughs> well, what about the time I was leaving my last shop in Glendale, and we were moving, and I started throwing away a bunch of junk, trophies and stuff that I didn't, that I didn't need anymore. That was junk. And then I hear a car running out front, and I go out and look, and there's my dad loading everything I threw away back up in his van. All right. <laughs> He's probably still got it at his house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still got trophies when I was racing HO. What do you do with HO steel cars, slot They're cars, plastic in the woods? It's <laughs> memories. It's memories. Uh, yeah, but it's my something. age, you don't get memories. Don't last that long. So. <laughs> you got to have something to remind you of your memories. Just know that if something ever happens, that they're gone, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I can see it right now. Who goes there? Who is that? Daddy! Shh! Here comes the boss! Daddy! Here comes the boss! What do you think? What do I need to focus on? That? That one? You're right, that one's almost done. You like it? It looks so cool. It does? It's so cool. Yeah. Do you like the color? Yeah. Yeah? Do you? Do you think you think we should change? What do you think of the wheels?